Clay Blackston has always been a very peculiar individual. In fact, he may be the most peculiar individual I have ever met. Not because he's out of his mind or anything, but simply because each part of his multidimensional character is stranger than the last. As I began to think back about what I would say tonight, more and more observations, memories, and realizations came to mind about how sincerely strange Clay is. But in his weird thoughts, interests, and pursuits, I found Clay to be quite a remarkable human being. You may ask, how is Clay so multidimensional? Off the court, Clay spends his time making business cards for himself, <laughs> riding tandem bicycles, and solving Rubik's cubes. <coughs> He's also the only man I know with enough confidence to wear his Sesame Street mittens and matching hat all around campus. <laughs> this is just another example of how Clay is always willing to challenge social norms. He will always be the one to ask, why should I do X? When I should do what? When I could do why? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And his head will start vibrating, and his eyes will get really large every single time. <laughs> Except when it comes to his appetite. There, Clay is a rigid fortress of solitude, where the only things he ingests are pizza and fried food. Well, what are you eating tonight, by the way, Clay? Cake. Cake. <laughs> like a good philosophy major, Clay will probably respond to this by saying, why should I change eat it, like, what I eat? Like, if I eat the same thing every day, it makes sense, it's easy, I don't do anything different. Why? And it's, that's just what makes clay what clay is. What's even better, what's even